One of the various ways Maxi Kleba provides defensive versatility as a small ball five is his ability to maintain traditional pick and roll coverages. He's got the size to be able to be a big defender, providing some sort of interior presence and able to get a hand up with length when guards try to take short range or mid range pull ups. And he did that against the Wizards. They didn't have a threat that liked to frequently get to the rim with dynamic driving ability. And they also didn't have much for pull up three point shooting threat. So the Mavericks were able to funnel guards like Tyus Jones into mid range range spots that they're willing to give up shots while still getting a contest using Kleba's length. When Tyus Jones snaked into the gap, maintaining this type of defensive presence with the big in a traditional pick and roll setting against limited guards can create very favorable defensive situations where even a low turnover guard who just has nowhere ideal to go with the ball driving right coming off of the screen into the gap tries to use a no look pass to create an advantage and this actually becomes a disadvantage because he throws it inaccurately with Luka getting getting back out on the shooter as the low defender and the corner spacer is unable to come up with the pass. This is another play where the Mavericks are allowing a shot that they want from the opponent's shot profile. Marvin Bagley is screening Josh Green for Tyus Jones to dribble off, get to the elbow. He gets into a step back and Kleba gets a hand up to contest. This is a shot that they want to give up and it's a miss. Against the Oklahoma City Thunder, Shea Gildas Alexander had a tough time operating in high pick and roll actions the way he normally would operate. Here they're trying to bring Maxi into the action who would was pretty much disrespecting Josh Giddy as a shooter throughout this game by pre-rotating, leaving him open. So the Thunder's goal was to force him into the action by having Giddy screen and to mitigate that threat of basically having a non-shooter being left open and allowing the defense to get away with pre-rotating. So this is up to Maxi to be the big defender against Shea on the drive. He maintains good positioning as the big defender doesn't bite on the in and out dribble, is able to contest on the short range pull up and gets a hand on the ball coming up with the block. Dante DiVincenzo has been having a great recent stretch of play for the Knicks, but Maxi had some great defensive plays in ball screen coverage against him as well. He came straight off going right. Maxi was able to wall him up, get vertical, and force misses at the rim without foul. Coming off the screen going right from Taj Gibson's screen, snakes into the gap, and Kleba tracks him on the drive, gets into a position to have that right hand all the way up throughout the drive. He maintains enough separation to avoid fouling, but also still being able to impact the finish on the contest. He heavily pressures and forces a miss on the finish attempt. This time it's Josh Hart coming off the screen going to his right. Once again, not really much of a two-point shot creator. He gets deep on the drive, tries to make play after the roll man doesn't really have anything, and Kleba maintains verticality the whole time and blows up the play at the rim. This time it's not a pick and roll, it's a pin down, but Maxi's the big defender in this action and he's able to protect the rim with Corey Kispert trying to attack downhill. There's nothing on the first effort. There's nothing for Kispert deep on the drive. He gets into the paint two feet, doesn't even look at the rim after an initial wall up and not fouling. They pass the ball out and this time it's up to Derek Jones to contain dribble penetration off the ghost screen and he does exactly that. This just shows the overall capability of the Mavericks defense when they have those capable wing defenders that are able to contain the initial drive and the redrive. Another element of the impact that Maxi provides the Mavs defense as that small ball five is the threat of being able to switch everything. He is a effective in space defender whenever he is healthy to be able to make those physical movements. And this is a great example of this play. The Wizards are getting into a stack pick and roll action and the value of switching really blew this whole action up. Watch as this develops. Kyrie Irving's guarding the ball. Tyus Jones trying to get into a ball screen with Marvin Bagley and Kleba switches off of Bagley onto Jones. This completely neutralizes any value of that initial ball screen. And Corey Kispert as the back screener is going to try to throw a wrench into the Mavericks communication. But Jaden Hardy does a great job of calling out the switching. He takes on Marvin Bagley. Kyrie Irving takes on Corey Kispert. And now the Wizards come away with half the shot clock being used with no advantage from all of their screening actions. And Tyus Jones just tries to get into a pull up and Kleba lunges at him and contests and this is a miss. This play starts out with Kyle Kuzma being deployed in a wide action with Marvin Bagley screening for him to get the ball. And he gets into a ball screen with Kleba as the big defender. They just switch this one. And this is giving up a shot that the Mavericks are happy to give up. Kuzma isn't a high efficiency three-point shooter. Kleba is playing the drive, but still gets enough of a hand up to contest a shot and it's a miss. With PJ Washington added to the Mavs roster using the trade deadline moves the Mavs made, they're able to have more versatility alongside Kleba when he's playing the five to switch a lot of these actions 
actions. Kleba is responsible for Corey Kispert after they switch this initial brush screen. And PJ Washington makes that switch onto Tyus Jones with now Josh Green being responsible for Kyle Kuzma as he's, as he's making himself available in the paint for a potential pass. But the Wizards essentially tried to take advantage of the attention Kuzma was drawing by trying to get a clean look for Kispert on the wing. And Kleba did a great job of recognizing this, got out on the shooter, and this was a miss. When there is an actual shooting threat spacing from the perimeter, Kleba does a good job of getting out on them. And on this play, PJ Washington tries to contain dribble penetration with Tyus Jones attacking the middle of the floor from the wing. There's a no-look pass where Kyrie Irving commits to the first pass, and this is up to Kleba to X out, get out on the shooter, and he gets a hand up and disrupts Corey Kispert enough to force the miss. Now back to the Oklahoma City Thunder as a matchup. This just shows the value of having multiple options with size to be able to switch. Josh Giddy, a big guard, receives a side ball screen out of the corner from Chet Holmgren, and the Mavericks are able to comfortably switch this with Derek Jones now being responsible for Giddy, and they're completely content with Kleba being responsible for Holmgren. Now this is up to Josh Giddy to make a change of direction counter going behind the back, make a play at the rim, and he gets nothing but glass on the finger roll, and this is a great stop by the Mavs. Now this ended in a made shot for the Thunder, but this was a look that a defense would gladly give up throughout the course of a game. Luka Doncic is responsible for Jalen Williams initially. Chet Holmgren brings Kleba into the action by screening, and he slips the screen. The Mavs switch it. Williams looks to play off of two, attacking to his left, trying to get to a short-range spot, and he gets into a fade. Kleba gets a hand up. This is a tightly contested shot. This is just a great offensive play, but a look that the Mavericks will gladly give up time and time again. Tyrese Maxey is another matchup that the Mavericks had recently corralled in the half court quite effectively, and Maxey Kleba's versatility was a good example of why that was the case. He's playing up to touch in this double drag screening action, switches off the final screener onto Maxey. A late double comes as Tyrese Maxey tries to blow by Maxey Kleber by turning the corner. Kleber contains him and allows enough of an opportunity for Josh Green to recover on the late double to make that contest, and this is the time of effort that's needed against all-star caliber players to force missed shots and exactly what happened. Here the Mavericks send another late double. Maxi Kleba switches. Josh Green gets through this ball screen from Paul Reed who just kind of slipped it, didn't make contact on the screen. And with the length that the Mavericks have on the ball in this play, Tyrese Maxey is unable to get the ball to the roller. They come up with the steal by forcing the deflection and Josh Green's going the other way. Here's another double drag screening action where Maxey's versatility helped neutralize the play. They end up veer switching this one where Tyrese Maxey turns the corner going to his right when he's attacking downhill. Keeps that left arm up to be able to pressure the finish attempt at the rim and this is a really tough angle with Maxi's drive being rounded off as he's attacking and he tries to get the tough right-handed finger roll to go. Hits the bottom of the backboard and this was a tough shot and a miss. Having that versatility to play up instead of being a deep drop big was another helpful factor against Cam Thomas. He's not playing completely up but Maxi is in a position to play the drive but also get a contest on a pull up. Thomas rises up from three but he gets the contest from Kleber and the shot's offline. This time, Kleber switches onto Cam Thomas and it's an ISO possession. Thomas tries to break him down with size up dribbles going between the legs, cross between the legs, cross, attack going to his right, get to a short range spot, but he's stifled on the initial drive. Tries to cock the head back to get a foul call. The refs don't give him the call and he uses that to get into a step back along the baseline. This is a tough shot along the baseline. He's turning as he's getting into the shot. Kleba is able to get a hand up, contest it, and it's a miss. This was another solid possession from Kleba guarding Jalen Williams against the Thunder. Williams ended up receiving the ball in the corner, had a late shot clock situation, tried to attack Kleba, retreat dribbles back out to the three-point line, and Kleba did a great job of playing the shot. He lunges at Williams as he's rising up from three, disrupts him enough, and this is a missed shot. With the Mavericks having multiple dynamic offensive creators, it's very helpful to have stretch bigs that are able to make the defense pay for committing two to the ball after screening and popping or just staying behind the three-point line as that offensive player is attacking downhill. And against the Oklahoma City Thunder, this is a great example of that happening. Chet Holmgren is committed to Kyrie Irving as Shea Gildas Alexander fights over the screen, stays attached. Kleba is left wide open on the perimeter, gets a clean look right in the shot pocket off the pass, and knocks it down. 
Another instance of this, Luka Doncic against the Wizards receives that screen from Kleba pretty early in the possession. Marvin Bagley and Bilal Koulibaly are focused on him. Commit to the ball, Luka gives it up. Maxi fakes a pass, the defender commits to him, and he still gets the shot up. This shows the confidence he has in his shot right now. On this play, Luka is surveying the nail help. Spencer Dinwiddie against the Brooklyn Nets is focused on providing that help to Nick Claxton, who's trying to hold his own against one of the top ISO players on an island in space. Here, Luka brings him to the left, tries to force on the drive Dinwiddie's commitment before passing this ball out to Kleba, spacing out along the sideline, and he knocks the shot down against the contest. This time, Kleba isn't the screener, but he's spacing on the weak side with Derek Jones getting into the two-man game on the get action with Luka. Luka evades both defenders, gets to a step back and short range, and the defense has fully focused on showing help in the paint at this point. So when Luka gets to a spot, he's going to pass out of the shot, get to the open teammate, and Kleba makes the defense pay for that lack of focus on staying attached to him. This is another possession against Philly where they're fully focused on Luka. They were very aggressive loading up on him, and Maxi's left completely wide open makes them pay again now beyond just knocking down the three maxi's put the ball on the floor to drive again redrive closeouts redrive closeouts here miles mcbride gets out on the shot Max uses the fake, attacks downhill, has Precious Achua looking to protect the rim, and that doesn't bother him. He gets right into the dunk. Here, the Mavericks had numbers. They had a five on four on this possession with Danny Avdia on the ground after the missed layup on the other end, expecting a foul call. And there's two defenders on Luka, so there's a major numbers advantage. Luka gets the ball to the open teammate. Kleba is aggressive attacking off the catch and just gets right to the rim and flushes it home. And with Paul Reed playing up, tightly guarding him, out, be out beyond out beyond the perimeter this is a perfect chance for maxi to catch him off guard rip through and drive get by him turn the corner and that's exactly what happens he gets by reed a step on him and just launches off of this was another impressive attack off the catch by maxi against philadelphia he screens for kyrie irving who then draws both defenders attention patrick beverly is looking to is patrick beverly's lurking as the nail help in a position to help tyrese maxi in the event that kyrie tries to attack kyrie likes the kyrie likes the advantage that maxi has on this play by throwing the ball to him on the drift on the go and catch maxi attacks the smaller defender there's not much Patrick Beverly is going to be able to do against a six foot ten offensive player with momentum going to the rim. And even with help with Paul Reed at the top of the restricted area, getting vertical deep on the drive, Kleba finishes with his left hand and banks it off the glass. Maxi also presents a lob threat when he's healthy as well. On the stack pick and roll action, Luca gets off the pick. And, and Robin Lopez doesn't have the mobility to be able to account for both the ball and the rim roller. He's committed to Luca after he utilizes that screen. The Mavericks are able to bring Damian Lillard into the action by having his man be the back screener on the big defender. And this is a challenging set of circumstances for Robin Lopez to survive guarding both the ball and accounting for the big. So the Bucks are going to have to to trust Damian Lillard to disengage off of the back screener to be able to prevent the exchange from Luca to Maxi on the lob and the timing that Luca had coming off of the screen going to his left was tremendous. He gets quickly into the lob before Damian Lillard even disengages. Kleba has full momentum and it's a six foot ten player launching against a small guard trying to blow up a pass at the rim and there's nothing the Bucks can do at this point and Max finishes it at the rim. Here we're going small in this possession and Maxi Kleba was the biggest player on the court. And this shows the value of having that ability to still have size while having shooting at all five positions. Kleba screens with a brush screen while Kyrie Irving brings the ball up the floor, but then gets into a screen by flipping it, allowing Kyrie to dribble off going to his right. Shea Gildas Alexander switches onto him. And with the switch happening and Case and Wallace trying to fight over the screen, what happens is Kleba is able to get a seal after diving to the rim. And Kyrie Irving's patient with Case and Wallace being a much smaller defender. All he has to do is lob the ball up to Kleba he high points the catch doesn't bring the ball back down and goes right into the finish attempt on the catch this is just an easy play taking advantage of size against a team trying to go small against the nets in the four on three josh green gets the ball on the short roll gets it to kleba who then gets it to Kyrie Irving in the corner. They get into a side ball screen, and the Nets try to just double Kyrie. Kleba gets the ball on the roll with, with Kyrie throwing a bounce pass, and all Kleba has to do is get to a spot and either pass the open teammate, Derek Jones uh, Jr., in the weak side corner, or make a play in the paint. Kleba uses a hook and gets the shot to fall instead of forcing the ball to a underwhelming shooter in the weak side corner. This time, Kleba is the screener with Luka Doncic being blitzed by the Nets. He gets into the short roll, receives the ball from Luka, and instead 
instead again of forcing the ball out he fakes a pass on the catch to the weak side corner and has a wide open finish attempt with the defender biting on the fake it's a similar story against philadelphia on this possession except kyrie irving is the ball handler kleba pitches it to him on the handoff makes the short roll kyrie lofts it up to him and this time he just makes a play on the catch getting into a short range jumper and gets it to go after luka gets blitzed on this play with kleba spacing out from the weak side the ball pops kleba gets the ball in the corner and he has grant williams trying to post up and kind of clogging the lane here and instead of uh forcing a play all kleba does is stay patient wait for williams to clear out a little bit and then plays off of two getting into a finish since damian lillard was since it's just jay crowder and damian lillard is the two defenders involved in this play there's nothing the defense can do with lillard being a small guard getting sealed off by williams clearing him out as kleba gets into this finish on the step through as this play developed luka gets late doubled the ball finds kleba he fakes a pass to the corner attacks the middle of the floor and gets into a short range paint game jumper and hits it before the shot clock sounds Another element of having a six foot ten player on the floor is just the ability to rebound against smaller personnel and just in general, but particularly against small ball, Kleba becomes more effective as a rebounder. He's in the paint as Luca's trying to get a tough floater to go and comes up with this quick put back tip in. If you watch this video all the way through, I appreciate you for doing so. And if you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, share the video if you want. I'd greatly appreciate it. There'll be more content like this throughout the rest of the Maverick season and as long as I cover the team.